Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena, episode 132 for Wednesday, January 11th, 2017. Music Services. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by Blue Apron. Blue Apron will send you fresh, high-quality ingredients to cook delicious meals with simple step-by-step -step instructions right to your door. See what's on the menu this week and get your first three meals free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash twit. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. If you hadn't you know, figured it out by now, I'm a big time music fan. It's probably the reason why there have been so many music themed episodes of this show. Uh, I've had a few services on my radar that I've been wanting to spend some quality time with. And that time apparently is now, especially because announcements made at this year's Consumer Electronics Show seem like it's the perfect time to do so. So let's dive into a few music services you may have missed in this week's roundup. So many music services out there, and they're all aiming to be a replacement for your music library and a replacement for this thing called radio. Then there are services that cherish the radio part, like the aptly named iHeartRadio, which just saw a huge upgrade a few days ago. We'll get into that in a second, but first iHeartRadio is historically all about bringing, well, the radio to your device. Let's jump to live radio and we'll see a number of stations that are near my location, or I can scroll to cities to search for stations pretty much anywhere on the map. I can also narrow down to genre, of course, or even talk radio stations for things like news and sports talk, that sort of stuff. When I find something I like, I just tap it, and that radio stream then begins playing with album art, if it happens to have it, as well as like and dislike controls. If I want that true radio scanning experience like you'd get in the car when you hit scan and it just starts jumping through stations, uh, you can get that here jumps to a random station, you just hit scan. And if I like this station, I can save it for easy access later. iHeartRadio also has a podcast section for finding shows from <clears throat> awesome networks, but iHeartRadio just officially released its new on-demand music streaming services at CES 2017, and now offers free 30-day trials for both services. iHeartRadio Plus, offers replayability of songs that are heard on the radio. You just tap replay when it's supported while a song is playing. Also, custom stations filled with only songs that you love. You just tap the save button on those songs. And unlimited song skips. That service runs $4.99 per month after the free trial. There's also an all-access tier for $9.99. This adds offline listening as an option. Also playlist creation from iHeartRadio's full library. You just hop into my music and create a new playlist, and then you can search and add the songs from there. If you can't quite get rid of radio, but you want modern music streaming options as well, iHeartRadio might be the best choice for you. Find it in the Play Store now. If electronic music is your jam, then you should definitely check out this music service that is catered to your tastes and nothing else. Digitally Imported Radio has been around since 1999 and caters to nearly every walk of electronic music life. As you know, there are a lot of genres. Jumping into the style section of Digitally Imported Radio, for example, I'm shown a sizable list of standard genres like house, techno, ambient, trance, deep, a bunch of them. But within each of those is another gigantic breakdown of subgenres that expand upon those starting points. Fans of the music know that it's pretty standard for someone to be a fan of a very specific subgenre. So knowing where to find it and knowing that the service knows enough about the music to identify those differences between those subgenres is important for service like this to succeed. Tapping any one of these subgenres brings you into the streaming radio station for that particular sound. 
you're shown the cover art for the song of course that's playing uh, with the ability to like or dislike each track all of your likes can then be accessed through the side slide out tray for reference but that doesn't necessarily give you access to on-demand playback of those tracks that might be a good tool for djs however jump into the radio shows section to find a number of dj mixes and dj podcasts scheduled to stream throughout the day and many of those shows are cataloged and what that means is that you can jump into previous shows skip through them while listening it's more of an on-demand experience that way Digitally Imported Radio has a free ad-supported tier. You can access the premium version with a seven-day free trial offered through the site. Premium members get an ad-free experience, access to higher quality streams up to 320K MP3 and 128K AAC, and streaming access to certain shows on demand, like I was talking about. The premium tier costs $7 per month, with price reductions, of course, when you buy in advance. Find Digitally Imported Radio in the Play Store for free. All right, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode, and that is Blue Apron. Blue Apron is the number one fresh ingredient and recipe delivery service in the country. Their mission is to make incredible home cooking accessible to everyone, all while supporting a more sustainable food system, uh, setting the highest standards for ingredients, and building a community of home chefs. Blue Apron delivers seasonal recipes along with fresh, high-quality ingredients to make delicious home-cooked meals. Every meal comes with a step-by-step, easy-to-follow recipe card and pre-portioned ingredients that can be prepared in 40 minutes or less. So you're going to save time and money. When you're shopping at the grocery store, it's 60% more expensive than what you get through Blue Apron. And if you spend a lot eating out or at high-end grocery chains, you probably do, you can now spend under $10 per person for healthy home-cooked meals. You can customize your recipes every week. That's based on your dietary preferences, and you can choose a delivery option that fits your needs. There's no weekly commitment, so you only get deliveries when you want them. Blue Apron delivers to 99% of the continental U.S. and sets the highest quality standards for their community of over 150 local farms, fisheries, and ranchers across the United States. Blue Apron not only supports a more sustainable food system, it also supports happy and healthy families. This cooking together actually builds strong family bonds, and research shows that Blue Apron families cook nearly three times more often. New recipes created every week by Blue Apron's culinary team, and they're not repeated within the year. Here's a few samples. Spicy shrimp and Korean rice cakes with cabbage and furikake. There's pork chops and garlic piccata with scallion rice and spinach. Uh, Mushroom and chipotle pepper enchiladas with lime sour cream. Delicious. Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash twit. That's blueapron.com slash twit. And we thank Blue Apron for their support of Android App Arena. All right, now let's take a look at a music service that's meant for those with golden ears. So being a lifelong musician, I've always felt like I had an ear for things like audio fidelity. Uh, With that, a bit of emptiness in the move to MP3 and compressed music formats, knowing deep down that I'm missing something in the audible spectrum, even if some people point to science to prove it's all in the mind. Science. Uh, But at the end of the day, the most important thing is that each listener feels fulfilled uh, by what they listen to and how they listen to it. Tidal is one of the music streaming services created to appeal to people like me. People who want uncompromised sound quality beyond that of MP3. And I happen to have here these $300 Fender FXA5 headphones to judge it with. But first, the app itself. This is Tidal's main What's New page with a carousel up top of new content. Below that, New tracks to hit the service, new albums, including David Bowie's new EP. I'll go ahead and add that to my favorites. And then I can also flick this switch so it's available to me offline. I want to do that. Beyond that, there are playlists galore, music videos, and movies and shows, which, to be honest, there's not a whole lot of those, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. Uh, And the side slide out tray gives instant access to Tidal's full collection of all of those categories, as well as something they call Tidal Rising. That's a section devoted to up and coming artists who are looking to break through. When a track is playing, you get your standard collection of controls like repeat, randoms, scrub and all that, as well as suggested tracks down below to expand what I'm listening to. But do you see under the runtime there where it says hi-fi? 
That's the magic of Tidal. Subscribers to the Hi-Fi service can then adjust settings to allow for high fidelity versions of songs to come through in their sonic glory. And if that's happening, that little Hi-Fi will be lit up white. That means that you'll get flack lossless 16-bit 44 one kilohertz playback of your music, the exact same as a compact disc, as opposed to lossy compression used in other services and formats like MP3. But the ages old question, of course, do you actually hear a difference? This will differ based on who you ask and what hardware they use to listen. If you're listening to hi-fi quality through your MacBook speakers, you're not gonna notice a thing. I threw on the Fender FXA5 headphones and did A-B tests between tracks on Tidal and on Google Play Music to see the difference. And in my time, I absolutely noticed subtle, but I think impactful differences. High frequency information was more obvious, almost shimmery without distortion or harshness. Mid-range instruments had a clarity that dropped subtly when I skipped over, uh, over to Google Play Music to play it over there. Again, this stuff is next to impossible to illustrate on a podcast. It's really up to your own ears. Tidal also just announced at CES 2017, a new higher resolution section for Hi-Fi subscribers in their desktop app only, for now, called Tidal Masters. That brings the quality up to 96 kilohertz, 24 bit master level quality uh, to a limited library that should grow over time. Tidal is a bit pricey. For $9.99, you get the basic, well, they call it premium service, which has access to all that Tidal offers in its catalog, minus the access to high fidelity encoding. For $19.99 per month, you get all that lossless high res glory. Tidal does have a 30 day free trial to see if your ears can actually tell the difference. So why don't you check it out? Try Tidal today in the Play Store now. So I'm definitely very intrigued by Tidal. The audio file in me wants to be okay with a higher $20 per month cost uh, for all those extra bits and kilohertz. But on the other hand, Honestly, I listen to so many different things, much of it not actually music these days, that I'd kind of feel guilty if I went for a month without listening to music on that service. Paying 20 bucks a month is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, but it does make me realize that, you know, maybe there will be a day, I long for that day, when all music services throw a bone to those of us wanting higher quality audio streams and include it in their services too one can dream. Uh, send me your favorite apps and categories to arena at twit.tv, or you can post those to the subreddit, androidapparena.reddit.com. The recorded show plays every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific, following Tech News Today at twit.tv slash live, and new episodes appear later in the evening in the feeds and on the show page at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell. I'll see you next week in the arena.